I'm actually the fifth generation family, family beekeeper. So we've been running bees for a very long time and we always had this really slow time during the November, December months. And one day we were figuring out what could we do during this time frame and we decided to start with a couple of mandarin orange trees and we found the demand was really high. Our fruit was always very sweet, which I attribute to the bees always on, the, on property. From there it kind of grew into what it is now, quite a large mandarin farm, and this really keeps us busy while the bees are dormant in these months of November, December. There are a lot of different names that get intermixed with mandarins, so you hear tangerines, you hear clementines, you hear tangelos, they're all different varieties. What we have here are mandarins. We get the trees as, as little rootstock. The trees are about this big. It takes three to four years before they become mature and begin bearing the fruit. The smallest pieces of fruit are always the sweetest and the best. When it gets too big, the skin gets real thick and real tough, and you don't want those thick, hard pieces of fruit. So once we harvest the fruit from the tree, we bring it in in buckets and then we sort it on to pick out any damaged, diseased fruit. Our sorting table sorts the fruit from smallest to largest pieces and then we pack them into three pound bags, five pound bags, 10 pound bags, and 25 pound boxes depending on what the customer wants. Mandarins are nutritionally very good. They're low in calories, they're high in vitamin C, vitamin A, fiber, beta carotene, and antioxidants. So they're really nutritious and a great healthy snack. Farming is something you can do when you're young, start planting things, growing things, uh, have a few chickens, and uh, it's really a great opportunity to kind of learn about where your food comes from. Yeah, I grew up on the farm here, I, and I went off to college and decided that I didn't want to be a farmer for a time, so I worked at Apple Computer, uh, and a few years into that I kind of got the itch to come back and, and return to the life of farming and raise my kids up in the same sort of farming lifestyle that I had growing up, and I couldn't be happier, it's been a great decision.